All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about carbohydrates, one of the main macronutrients and in our body serves as our energy house. So let's go ahead and look at the quick breakdown of carbohydrates. I try to make this as simple as possible. So carbohydrates can simply be broke down into simple and complex carbohydrates. This is going to determine how quickly that energy is going to be released. And we will talk more about that in detail in this video. Now, complex carbohydrates can also be split into what we'd call caloric carbohydrates. They're really going to break down into sugar and fiber. Fiber is a type of complex carbohydrate found exclusively in plants, and this is not going to break down into sugar, but it will still offer you that energy as well as a plethora of other benefits. We will be talking about fiber in a separate video or the next video. So when we first start by looking at simple and complex carbohydrate, I want you to think about this as immediate release versus sustained or extended release. Think about this from a standpoint of gasoline in your car. Would you prefer that your gas tank hold enough gasoline that it's going to last you the entire day of productivity or would you prefer having to go and fill up gas every couple of hours in order to sustain the next couple of hours? In general, I would assume your answer is sustained energy, gasoline that's going to last the entire day. That really comes from something like complex carbohydrates. These are carbohydrates that are sugars that are linked. And when they come into the body and the body goes to process them, it very slowly breaks it down. The other benefit of complex carbohydrates is that they don't cause significant spikes in blood sugar as long as they are consumed in moderation. Here is a simple list of complex carbohydrates that you can consider consuming depending on your needs and abilities. Now, the difference is compared to the simple carbohydrates, the immediate release. These are short, short chain or single chain sugars. When you look at the list over here, a lot of these are written in yellow or red to sort of give you the sense of be very mindful and cautious when you're consuming these. With simple carbohydrates, the value of them is immediate energy. They'll go and give you immediate energy, but the backfall of that is that you're going to have some level of crash afterwards, especially if you consume a lot more. So when you consume these forms of energy, be very, very mindful about how much you consume and how often you are consuming them. One important piece of advice I would give is if you're choosing to consume simple carbohydrates, make them as close to natural, plant-based, and organic as possible. So take something like sugar, try to stick to plant alternatives like monk fruit, for example, or agave, and natural cane sugar, plant-based sugars. When it comes to honey, really be mindful that it's a local raw honey source rather than something that might have mixed alternate sugar ingredients. When it comes to milk, really try to focus on grass-fed and no hormone or organic type of milk. When it comes to milk, we'll be talking about that in another video and other animal sources, for example. Now, as you can see, I have crossed out certain types of simple carbohydrates. The problem with these is that they contribute a lot more inflammation in the body because these are artificial carbohydrates. They are not coming from nature. So when they come to that microbiome, when they come into your body, which is used to natural foods, which is attuned to natural foods, these things, not only do they give you a crash because they're simple and short-lived, they also contribute to inflammation, which we really want to avoid as much as possible. So I hope this breakdown offered you some information on which category to focus on um, as much as possible. But no matter what with carbohydrates, remember that if the body is not going to use it, whether it means the physical body, like through exercise and movement, or the mental body, through things like productivity, the body is going to end up storing it in things like fatty tissue. So whichever carbohydrates you're choosing, make sure 
that you're eating them in moderation. The last tip I want to offer you is try to consume your carbohydrates earlier in the day. This is really when you're focused on productivity and movement. Am I correct? So try to consume these things maybe in the morning or in the afternoon rather than consuming them closer to bedtime. In the next video, we are going to go into the other type of complex carbohydrate, the type that doesn't convert into sugar or blood sugar spikes, and that's going to be fiber.